What's good everybody on YouTube man, got a gameplay here using the Baltimore Ravens against the Seahawks. Uh, not a really long game, very short game, short edited game. But let's check this first play of the game out. Look at this interception. See, that could have been a pick six. I don't know why he dove, but that was a nice pick though, I'm not going to lie. But um, the NFL week one is here. Um, I'm not going to lie, the, the, of all the games, of all the matchup that went down in week one, the most game that you know I, I was surprised was that of the Saints and the Raiders. The Raiders got their first win against the Saints. It was a very close game, 35-34. Uh, now, Drew Brees had a good game. He had like 400-plus yards, four touchdowns, zero picks. Now, that's a good stat, especially if you have Drew Brees in your fantasy league. Man, that's a good stat. That's like, what, 35, 37, 38 points right there on on either uh, ESPN, Fantasy, DraftKings, or even on uh, FanDuel. Now, another player that had a good game was Andrew Luck. I, I think, in my opinion, Andrew Luck had the highest fantasy points in all in all the players that um, played this this uh, Sunday. Uh, but it was a tough loss, though. Um, I was open. You know, the Colts were going to win. The Detroit Lions came up with the win. Matthew Stafford with the four touchdowns. Uh, but, you know, it, it's all good because, to be honest with you, nobody expected the game to go down like that between the Colts and the Lions. I know a lot of people did not expect to put up, you know, Andrew Luck to put up that high number. And Matthew Stafford, you know, we all expect him to always put numbers like that, even without uh, Calvin, Calvin Johnson. But that was a good matchup, and I'm not going to lie. Those two games were very very decent games now back to this game as you can see the score here seven three i'm trying to get you know points before the second half we right here running the ball and then we pick up a good yards for the touchdown here and put up the score to 13 or 10 10 three so we up by um um three points now in this game uh, even though this guy was using the Seahawks, I didn't take any chances as far as going for it on fourth down. So every time I get an opportunity, I always kick the field goal. Now look at this play. Instead of him, him um, losing about, what, 5, 10 yards, I ended up only losing one yard because of that offensive lineman. That was a good That was a good pickup, I'm not going to lie. But he ended up turning the ball over on downs. As you can see, I'm just trying to run the ball, trying to get some yards here uh, with Justin Forsett. Pick up a good yard there. And then uh, 239 left, pitch to Justin Forsett again for another couple of yards. Uh, right here, I do a play action. I think I threw the ball to the receiver, but it was incomplete. Uh, Two-minute warning, 203 left in the game. Let's see what I do here. Almost, ah, that, that was too close to an uh, interception. So I end up, you know, settling for a field goal. Now, I'm surprised I'm making all the field goals in this game because usually I don't make field goals like that, even extra point conversion. I don't even make extra point conversion. I always miss them. So I get two for two uh, on the field goal as we up by uh, uh, six points, 13-3 going to the second half. So this guy is going with his five receiver um, setback. Um, he's uh, pretty much moving the ball, but I'm not trying to make him score. I'm not trying to let him score any any touchdown, but he keep getting some yards. And then right here, this is the game winner right here. Boom, interception. That's it. He loses. He quits. Rage quits. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you later. Peace.